Hi there, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and today I want to talk about McDonald's strange enough maybe I don't know uh, but uh, McDonald's is a food service and food, food service design is of course a food design subcategories but I have something um, interesting that happened in McDonald's and that I wanted to share with you so I live in France and uh, I think since uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, McD French McDonald's has launched Le Grand Veggie, which is a vegetarian sandwich. Uh, so he, this, is, this is the new, uh, the news. Uh, French McDonald's, or all McDonald's in France, now have this um, vegetarian sandwich. I don't know if it's going to last forever, if it is one of those uh, sandwiches that are there only for a limited um, amount of time or forever. So I don't know that, but this is quite exciting. Now, as a vegetarian myself, you want to go to McDonald's once in a while and if vegetarians or vegans for that matter go to McDonald's it's not because they want to eat the salad we crave uh, french fries too mm, delicious so it's great to see that now we have an option and this is the news um, I'm going to try it and see how it is so it looks very nice there's um, um, sunflower seeds on the bun, which is spectacular. That's, um, there is a um, burger, if you want to call it that way, veggie burger that I don't know what it's made of. It looks like there's oat, maybe. And then you have your tomatoes and salad, some type of dressing. Um, maybe spinach instead of salad, or maybe just salad, I don't know. Mm. It's very good. The patty seems to have mm, maybe carrot or pumpkin and some vegetables. Okay, the reason why I wanted to make this video is, uh, is not to necessarily um, applaud McDonald's for what McDonald's is for the entire food system. Um, for once we know it's not the healthiest food but in moderation I think everything is okay someone once told me uh, someone who studies the Ayurveda uh, approach to food told me do 80% of the time the right thing and 20% of the time you know so I don't want to talk about McDonald's in general but the reason why I wanted to make this video is that I think it's a great thing that finally uh, in France, for example, we are seeing at McDonald's uh, an, an option for vegan, uh, vegan or vegetarian besides the salad, a sandwich, a proper sa a sandwich that is um, vegan or vegetarian. I know there are other countries that have always had at McDonald's uh, vegetarian options, like India, for example. Um, if you know of other countries, please let me know in the comments below i'd like to know i'd like to see i'm not sure about um the usa for example um or uk or italy the places that i've visited probably more often i don't remember seeing vegan or vegetarian options at mcdonald's when i was living in new zealand there was a chain called burger fuel i think it's both it's both in new zealand and australia they had three uh, vegan options um so it's happening slowly but it's the first time that i see a vegan or vegetarian option sandwich at mcdonald's in france so that it is good to see it's good to see that they provide options now the reason why i think it's a tremendous thing that um there are more and more vegan and vegetarian options provided by various food services is that uh, undeniably there is a need for the planet to reduce the amount of meat that we consume and I want to read you a few uh, numbers that you can find if you browse on the internet so first of all um, animal farming is the main cause of deforestation about 48 football fields worth of trees are lost every minute um, to make space for uh, animals to graze. About half of the world's tropical forests have been cleared. Since the 1600s, 90% of the USA, for example, indigenous forest has been destroyed. And up to 28,000 species can go extinct in the next quarter century due to 
due to deforestation. If we continue like this, by the year 2030, we might only have 10% of rainforest left and it can all disappear in 100 years. It's very moist, it's not dry at all, which is usually very often what happens with the uh, vegetarian burgers, but the sauce I think makes all the difference. So, meat is a big cause of deforestation and deforestation is a big cause of us losing trees and animals losing their habitat. But what is interesting is to see that grazing, which is from the animal perspective probably the better option because they have a higher quality of life and, the life and they eat better food, they eat grass, which is what they're meant to eat. Grazing occupies 26% of the earth ice-free terrestrial surface and feed crop product production uses about one third of all arable, arable land, which is the land that can be uh, cultivated. So w one fourth of all the land that is not covered in ice in the, in pl on planet Earth, so we are taking out um, Antarctica, um, uh, big part of Canada, uh, Green a big part of most of Greenland, probably a big part of Russia, etc. Of everything else, 20, a fourth of all the land is used for um, grazing space, animal, for animals to graze, animals that we're going to eat. This seems to me already a good reason to start reducing the amount of uh, meat that we want to eat. And of course, with this video, I'm I want to say that I don't I don't think that everybody should become vegan or vegetarian tomorrow. Um, but what we can do definitely is maybe reduce, of course, the amount of meat that we eat. So maybe from um, seven days a week to maybe twice, three times a week, maybe once a week. Um, and deforestation and every uh, consequence of deforestation is a is, is an, one very good reason to do that. Another good reason is everything that has to do uh, with your health. <music> There's been a lot of research that has been done that correlates um, the consumption of meat and in particular red meat to big important risks to your health. So, for example, the World Health Organization has classified processed meat, including ham, salami, bacon, as a group one carcinogen. <laughs> A research from Harvard looked at statistical links between meat consumption and cause of death. People in the study who ate the most red meat tended to die younger and to die more often from cardiovascular disease and cancer. Meat is an important source of protein and iron and B12, and so maybe we shouldn't uh, cut it out completely. Uh, I have for a, a series of reasons, but I don't think that maybe everybody has to. But definitely, whatever doctor you're going to talk to, everybody is going to tell you to reduce the number of meat you eat, the, the amount of meat. Another reason, another reason that I think um, we often don't think about when we choose to become vegetarian or just choose to cut, cut out meat is this. Workers in meat processing fertility facilities may face numerous hazards, including toxic gases from animal waste and crowded, unsanitary conditions which are ripe for the transmissions of diseases from animals to workers, who might then spread the infection uh, amongst their community. Workers are at risk for antibiotic resistant infections, particularly if they uh, incur cuts um, or scrapes. In many cases, workers lack the mean to demand safer conditions. Um, I think, I really feel this is one of the things that we forget about the most and, and we shouldn't, so that's why I'm making, making these videos, this video. People living near or downstream from meat processing operations may be forced to cope with health and social impact um, of contaminated air and water. Not everywhere all the time, but many places this is what happens. 
others, and this is interesting, others from nearby uh, operations, meat, uh, meat processing operation, are, are more than just unpleasant smells. They have been associated with high blood pressure, depression, anxiety, sleep disturbance and other harms. These and other impacts contribute to the social and economic decline of our natural rural communities. One more thing. In many cases, the burden of public health arms um, arising from um, the uh, vicinity to animal farming and meat processing facilities falls disproportionately upon low-income communities and communities of color. This is a study from the USA. Populations already affected by poorer health status and lack of access to medical care so you could argue that it looks like maybe um, animal farming uh, businesses are somehow classist and racist and this is just this is just these are just a few reasons why it is a good idea to cut our consumption of meat without getting into the world of reasons that have to do with the life of the, the animals themselves and the quality of lives of the animals themselves. So, um, what I want to say here is, first of all, uh, us human beings, um, it is a good idea to cut the cut meat consumption uh, for three reasons usually the 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 care that we have for the animals uh, and and this is, is not the point for this video um, your own health and the environment and even just these two I think are big enough or either either even just only one of these three reasons is big enough to cut meat consumption. If we want to change the world, we have to change, make small changes in our uh, own life. And food of, is, of course, a huge part of our life. So why shouldn't we given, actually, why shouldn't we food designers provide uh, with menu design, service design and product design an opportunity for people to make choices that are oriented toward, towards a sustainable uh, future? So that was it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss another video on food design. And please, please, please let me know in the comments below of any service, uh, or any big food service like food design, uh, sorry, like McDonald's, like any um, big uh, food chain, uh, fast food that you know of that uh, that um, provides vegan or vegetarian options and if you if you have a food service let me know what you do to provide options for vegans and vegetarians thank you very much as always have a lovely day and happy food design